Every day, many incredible things take place, many of which we won't ever hear about. These are moments that stand out and become the kind of astounding experiences that people never forget as long as they live. For some people, however, those inspiring moments truly go above and beyond all possibilities. And through sheer bravery and belief, they do things that prove that everyone has the potential to achieve greatness for at least a moment at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the most incredible moments that would impress anyone watching them. The likes of which are often so amazing that, had there not been any video evidence, most people would be pretty reasonable in doubting them altogether. Ready to be blown away? Well then, let's get it on! Nick Melinda Skyscraper the Florida native has dedicated his life to walking across tightropes, but in 2014, Nick set up an event in Chicago, Illinois that would quite literally put all other tightrope walks that had come before to shame. Nick set out to set not one, but two unbelievable records in the span of 15 minutes. The city of Chicago made a massive event out of the spectacle Nick would make by walking across the Chicago skyline on a wire only as thick as a penny. Nick walked over the specially painted wire, 555 feet off the ground, over to the Leo Burnett building, which stands a whopping 683 feet high. That was the grip, Nick. It's awesome. Good. You're, you're a genius. <laughs> the grip on this wire, this coating is just amazing. While this world record setting walk among the clouds is definitely nail biting, once the second round started, things really got insane. Fresh off a 10 minute walk across a wire 600 feet above the street, Nick put on a blindfold and crossed another wire, setting a world record that I'm sure nobody but himself would ever be crazy enough to even attempt to top. Halfway there. Two steps. I know I'm the narrator and all that, but it is really hard to put into words just how amazing of a moment Nick Walenda's achievement here really is. Mantle of Bees Bees are an insect that most people are more than happy to stay far, far away from. After all, a sting from just one bee is more than enough to ruin your day, not to mention accidentally stumbling upon a whole hive. This dangerous and very weird um, art form is known as the mantle of bees, and it's an insane accomplishment that you've got to be at least a little bit crazy and a whole lot of fearless to even attempt. If that's the case, then Ruan Liang Ming is officially the craziest and most fearless person to ever take on the mantle of bees. My question is, what the hell? For an episode of the Italian version of the Guinness World Records show, Ruan stood before the cameras as he accumulated a world record shattering number of bees on him. In the end, he was absolutely absolutely overflowing with the flying insects, as he was completely covered in them. In total, over 637,000 bees enveloped his body, weighing a total of 63.7 kilograms. According to Ruan, the trick to not getting stung too much is to remain completely calm. <laughs> Rooftop Cycling Parkour you know what's awesome to watch? Rooftop parkour. You know what else is really cool? BMX. But combining both of those things, well, that sort of sounds impossible. I mean, how could you possibly even put them together? Well, when you've got a name like Danny Macaskill, you're bound to find a way. In an adrenaline spiking endeavor that kind of causes panic just to watch, Danny strapped on a GoPro and combined the arts of BMX and parkour across the cliffside rooftops of Cascadia, performing death-defying jumps, flips, and tricks from building to building as the otherwise everyday lives of the island inhabitants went on as usual. Along the ride, over and over, Danny made incredibly risky and seemingly unbelievable moves look easy, with his refined form and what have got to be absolute nerves of steel, in an environment perfect for making one of the most unique and incredible feats in the world also look beautiful. Supersonic Freefall Felix Baumgartner is probably closer to being an astronaut than any other extreme athlete. What really makes him stand out is his ability to perform what most people have called an impossible feat, and rightly so. In 2012, the Austrian adrenaline junkie partnered with Red Bull to seek to accomplish something truly unparalleled, a supersonic freefall. In October of 2012, the daredevil rode a balloon-toed capsule a distance of 24 miles above the Earth, high enough that a spacesuit is needed to even survive the climb. What happened after, when Felix mustered up the courage to take the biggest leap in history was the hard part. <laughs> 
through his four-minute free fall, he accelerated to a blistering speed of 843.6 miles per hour, meaning that his body alone created a sonic boom just by falling. In that moment, Felix Baumgartner more than proved that nothing is really impossible. 255-foot cliff fall Skiing, as sports go, while it can be relatively dangerous, unless someone tries to do some crazy stunt way outside their skill level, it really does rank among the safer ones. Meet Jamie Pierre, one of the bravest extreme athletes on the planet. While at the top of a perfectly snow-covered mountain peak, in an attempt to set the world record for the highest ski jump, Jamie skied right off the peak of the mountain and plummeted 255 feet down. Moments later, he was able to walk away, casually saying that he just wanted to get the world record to simply get it out of his system. Now that's an insane reason to jump off a mountain. But then again, are there really any sane ones? No! I refuse- No! No! Around the world and back. If it weren't for daring adventurers like Fyodor Kunyakov, we wouldn't have so many geographical discoveries. He's an adventurer the likes of which the world has literally never seen before, and every time he safely completes one of his record-setting journeys is a remarkable moment in human history for most, but the chance to find a new challenge to conquer for him. Among his seemingly endless list of unmatched accomplishments are circumnavigating the Earth in a boat five times, navigating solo across the Atlantic Ocean 17 times, setting the world world records for both the fastest journey around the world in a hot air balloon and the fastest crossing of the Pacific Ocean in a rowboat, which he then became the only person to cross both ways. On top of that, he also holds the title of being the only human to ever reach the five so-called poles of the Earth, the North and South Poles, the top of Mount Everest, Cape Horn, and one that, I swear I'm not making this up, is literally called the Pole of Inaccessibility in the Arctic. To be honest, pretty much every moment in Fyodor Konyakov's life is pretty incredible one. And Thankfully, he's filmed all of it to forever cement his incredible achievements. Base Jumping Into a Plane Base jumping is one of the most popular and most dangerous extreme sports in the world. Either way, that danger just adds to the whole extreme part of the sport, and just eggs daredevils on to keep pushing the sport to greater and greater extremes. And in 2017, that's exactly what Red Bull and two French wingsuiters sought to do. Together they set up an incredible opportunity for the high-flying duo to be the first people to ever try jumping off a mountain and into a moving plane. And while that all seems incredibly unlikely, they did make this list, right? Uh -huh. Through the perfect combination of determination, precision, and sheer willpower, both wingsuiters made the jump with no complications on their first try. And luckily for us, got the unbelievable footage to prove it. To be fair, I probably wouldn't have believed them without it. David Blaine Electrified David Blaine is widely called a magician, but it would be more accurate to call him the world's most extreme stuntman. Along with his crazy escapades like being frozen in a block of ice or staying underwater for way too long, one of his most insane moments in his career was when he chose to get himself electrocuted. If you know anything about David Blaine, you can be sure that this wasn't just some quick shock. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. In 2012, David made a spectacle that was live streamed to over 400 million viewers by standing atop a 22 foot high pole in New York City for 73 hours, surrounded by Tesla coils that were constantly shooting out 1 million volts of electricity all around him. The legendary performer embarked on one of his most